Hi everyone. In this video, we will see what is LangChain and what are its important components. So LangChain is framework for Python and JavaScript, and it is useful for development of applications powered by large language models or LLMs. And why it's useful is uh, because it provides abstractions and wrappers on top of necessary tools like language models, uh, necessary libraries like OpenAI, Pinecone, Beautiful Soup, and uh, many other important libraries. And these abstractions help to uh, make the development process easier and much faster. Also, it provides huge specific chains like uh, document retrieval chain and uh, retrieval keyway chain and uh, summarization chains. So these chains can be thought of as assembly of components in a particular order for particular use case. So we can say that uh, they provide abstractions and they, they also provide uh, uh, arrangement of those abstractions in particular order to solve some particular use case. So these two are major benefit of using LangChain. And uh, uh, some features uh, which uh, which uh, we get, which we get as uh, result of using LangChain are the applications which we make using LangChain are dataware and agentic in nature. So dataware means uh, LangChain allow to integrate our language model with uh, source of data. Uh, like uh, some private document or uh, suppose a SQL database or CSV file. So consider language model like GPT 3.5. Its uh, cutoff date is uh, September 2020 and it's not aware of anything whatever happened after that date and till that date also it's aware of only that data which was publicly available in the, uh, in the internet. Now if we want some information which uh, be uh, only know or which is in some private uh, document, then uh, that do that model will not be aware of that. So for such scenarios, uh, LangChain allows or provides mechanism to connect to uh, data source. And second important feature of um, applications developed using LangChain is that they are agentic in nature. Agentic in nature means uh, LangChain provides a concept called agents and uh, uh, agents use reasoning engine of uh, language model to uh, decide uh, or take some actions which will be useful in that particular scenario. So agents are given certain specific tools and they are free to choose which tool they will use to solve that particular problem. So this is LangChain and uh, its benefits. Now let's see what are components of LangChain or uh, modules of LangChain. So first module is model and it covers prompt, language model and output parser. So prompt is uh, like a normal prompt which we give to uh, GPT, chat GPT. But it also uh, allow to uh, contain placeholders which can be filled by uh, variables from user and then we can combine prompt and prompt template and variable to form dynamic prompt and feed that prompt to language models to get the result. So prompts is uh, the prompt and language model is this language model. Further there are two variants of language model. One are LLMs and second are chat models. We will see these in upcoming videos. And third thing is output parser. Output parser is nothing, it just helps to define in which format we want our output. So output format, uh, output parser is directly attached to prompt template and uh, as result uh, we get uh, output in particular format for example JSON and then we can pass the output and uh, uh, serialize and use it uh, suppose in, uh, we can use it uh, in HTTP API. Now, second thing, second module is retrieval. So, retrieval module mainly deal with loading of data, chunking or transforming of data, uh, embedding of data, and then storage and retrieval of data. 
So we can say that uh, this retrieval module deals mainly with uh, data sources, uh, loading and retrieval of data sources. Then we have chains. As we had already seen, chains are like predefined set of instructions. And uh, there are many kind of chains like uh, simple LLM chain, then simple sequential chain and uh, for uh, summarization of document, we have summarization chain and similarly to talk to document or talk to vector DB, we have retrieval QA and conversation retrieval chains. So there are many variants of chain. Then there comes the agent. So contrary to chains uh, where we give predefined instructions, agents are much more flexible in nature. They are given some tools or uh, in programming, uh, while programming, we give them some functions and they are free to use uh, reasoning capability of language model to choose which function will be suitable, which tool will be suitable for that particular problem uh, which they are solving. And uh, agents uh, are given set of tools or toolkits and agent executor is responsible for uh, running the agent or its runtime of agent. Then we have memory and callbacks. So uh, memory is mainly store, uh, useful for storing uh, chats or uh, any persistent data. And then we have callbacks which allow to uh, hook into the various stages of LLM and uh, uh, perform certain actions, uh, mainly useful for logging purpose. So these are the important modules in LangChain. Uh, which we will see in upcoming videos and uh, try to make uh, small applications out of this. So that's it for this video. If you have some questions, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.